Okay, everybody can hear me? Uh, thanks for the opportunity to talk about this work joint with Alex Abreu and Marco Pacini. And as the title says, uh, we need to understand about Abel maps, tropical geometry, and other things that I will review soon. So, uh, the theory of um, the Abel maps uh, goes back from the work of Abel uh, in the 19th century, and uh, a, a lot of people work with it. Uh, some people in this room like this, this map. So Eduardo Esteves, Juliana Coelho, uh, Marco Pacini, Alex Abreu, and sorry if I forgot someone. Uh, the Abel map for a uh, smooth curve, it's the map which takes the top of, of points in the product of the cops of C into the shape associated to the sum of this point. I'm very happy. Sum of this point. So, uh, what is interesting with this map is that maybe you can hear something about when you listen about complete linear systems or brillant letter varieties or it is hidden in ellipto, elliptic curve crypto systems and for a smooth curve uh, the degree to a bell map detects when the curve is hyper elliptic. But we are interested to study this map for uh, singular curves. So we need to um, resort a family of curves. And we work with um, one parameter, uh, smoothing curve, degenerate to another curve. So here we have uh, some draw, uh, an example that we will use in our presentation. And uh, the angle map for a family, the, the idea to define this is like the same, but we have some problems here. So we again take at the top of points, but now we are able to choose nodes here because we have a nodal curve. And the problem is that this shift is not um, torsion free, sometimes is invertible, but it's not cross stable. So we can define this map this way. And we have to extend this codomain. Here we use the compactification of the Jacobian, of the Steves. And the problem with this map is just rational. And we want to find an explicit resolution of it. So let's look uh, in our example. Uh, the degree two Abel map, uh, what's happened in uh, when we choose all the entries nodes. So we have this completion of the local ring and the map is given by these equations and we have this tangle of nodes here. And what we usually do to um, resolve this. We can draw this better and uh, we do blow ups to resolve this problem here. So in this case, we have two ways to make this blow up and it's here that the magic happens. We will look at the dual combinatorial counterpart of these things. So we will associate uh, these divisors to points. And in this case, for degree two, now we have a square. And we can see or associate these blow ups to the subdivisions of this square. So now we are relating blow ups with uh, subdivisions of fans of toric varieties. But toric, yeah. So what we are doing here, we have an algebraic problem and we relate this with uh, toric geometry. And now you want to uh, build a bridge to tropical geometry. So let's put on our tropical glasses. And remember that you already saw this 
today, we can see a uh, curve as a tropical curve. So we can associate uh, in our example here two uh, components, three nodes, we can associate it to a graph. So the two components uh, will become vertices and the node that is the intersection of two components, it's, it will be the edge connecting the vertices associated to the components. And if we have some smooth point in some component, this point can be seen in the vertex. Okay, so we need much more things to explain all the things. I would like to talk about uh, the tropical uh, bell map and the um, tropical Jacobian, but I need you believe me because we don't have time. So I will just <laughs> talk some things. So a device or a graph you are read. Uh, so it's just choose an uh, integer for the vertices and a pseudo divisor uh, is to choose a subset of edges and add uh, exceptional vertices and we can associate minus zoom. So it's enough for you to understand. And in our case, the banana curve, what we doing? So you can see if you know a little bit about the geometry side, uh, the, the one is related to where the R shift is invertible and the minus one when is not invertible. So we can uh, contract, uh, that's the specialization that Mark Patin talk, we can contract these edges and we have the pulse set of quasi-stable pseudo-divisors. So, in fact, we have a cell of dimension two, cells of dimension, dimension one, and dimension zero, and unless the permutation of the edges, this is all the, the quasi-stable pseudo-divisors that we need because they are the pieces of the tropical Jacobian. So, in that example, uh, I take the dimension two cells and glue it in in the, in the, when the intersection of them is equal, that is the cells of dimension one. So this is the tropical Jacobian in our example and look that this have an extruder of polyhedral complex. So now we can see what is a tropical Abel map. Again, we take the table points and going to the class of divisor. And what is important to hear is that the domain and the image are polyhedral complex. But the map is continuous, but in general is not a map of polyhedral complex. What the hell is that? Is in our example, um, we have uh, the degree two, we have a square, there is a polyhedral complex. We have, we can look at the image of this square and what's happened? One cell, it's going in two cells. So it's not a map of polyhedral complex. And look, if we could divide this square, let me see if I can, no I can't, uh, make a subdivision here, we could have a map of polyhedral complex. We could be two cells going in two cells. So, Quickly speaking, uh, we have a dictionary between the algebraic geometry and the tropical geometry. And we have the maps, the Abel maps, and in either case, the problems that we have with these maps can be solved when we find refinements of hypercube, subdivision of a square, okay? Uh, so our main result says th this. Uh, if we consider in the point uh, of nodes in our family and the completion of the local ring, so we will associate this uh, into, um, we see that the toric variety for make the subdivisions and we consider a hypercube in XD or tropical curve given um, as the product of the edges corresponding to the any one to any D 
then the result says that any unimodular triangulation of H, such that the tropicalable map restricted to the triangulation is a map of polyhedral complex, induces a local toric blow up, such that the map is a morphism. So we can solve the geometrical problem. And what we do with all this? Uh, we made an algorithm in SageMap to compute explicitly the solution of the combinatorial problem. We saw that Federico Sessio and Aldi Nestor was really right when they prove that the degree one Abel map is defined everywhere. <laughs> and uh, for degree two, we know how to explode or what device we need to explode to solve this problem. And if we remember, in the third uh, slide, I talk about the Abel map, the retrievable map, um, see when the curve is hyperleaf. So for a singular curve, we saw when a curve is a pseudo hyperleaf uh, in the symmetrized degree two. So C be a curve with no separating knots. The curve C is pseudo hyperleaf if and only if uh, for some regular smoothing, the symmetrized degree two Abel map of C is not injected. So if you really like these things, I know that this was really quickly, but if you like this team, you can read these papers and all this is the base to construct all these things. So thanks for the opportunity.